After millions of years of evolution, we gave you an intellect. When something is sharp given to you, you must learn how to hold it, isn't it? This has become the problem because we gave you a very complex machine and you not bother to read the user's manual. So Sadhguru, there are times in life when I am just doing excellent, doing to my fullest. But then suddenly a feeling creeps in which tells me that your downfall is near. It bothers me and Maybe you're just landing. Yes. And with this feeling, getting into the system, uh, my performance actually starts to deteriorate. So Sadhguru, how do we fight these inner monstrous voices? How many monsters do you have <laughs> within you? I thought there's only one monster, that's you. <laughs> this we must be very clear. See, if you are hearing two voices within you, an angelic voice and a monstrous voice, this doesn't mean something fantastic has happened. This means you are either schizophrenic or you're possessed, <laughs> yes? You either need a psychiatrist or an exorcist <laughs> So, this is very important. This people are doing in the name of religion, in the name of spirituality, in the name of uh, so-called modern solutions to everything. In many ways, this is finding expression. <clears throat> in India, we have a huge vocabulary for these things. If you say anything to anybody, oh, this is my ankara, this is my ego doing this, this is my… this is my soul, this is my this, this is my that. Well, uh, if so many people are speaking from within you, if so many people are stuck in this one body, this is a ailment, isn't it? Hello? If there is more than one in this body, is this an ailment or no? Only one. This body is designed for one, isn't it? This is the most fundamental thing you must do. There's just you and you and you in this. There is no another. The moment there is another, this is a trick. Initially you play this trick. When something happens well, of course it's me. When something didn't happen, I don't know, some other voice, somebody else, my ego, <laughs> my… <laughs> All kinds of other creatures which don't exist, you manufacture in your mind. You can call it Atman, Paramatman, God speaks within you, devil speaks within you. See, whenever people said, God spoke to me, disasters unfolded. <laughs> yes, have you seen this? The president of United States at one time, about fifteen years ago or eighteen years ago, said, God told me, oh, what a disaster, six hundred thousand people died and a whole nation destroyed. That is the kind of things always happen when God spoke because because I want you to understand, it's not about God speaking. When you want to say something absolutely illogical and unreasonable, you bring the God and the devil <laughs> So, if there is more than one voice, you have to kill the other voices. For this, you must understand, there is a complexity to human mind. So the complexity of who we are is the greatest gift we have, isn't it so? There is a cerebral complexity which is what makes us who we are. This is the greatest gift, but this is what every human being is suffering. I'm asking all of you, when was the last time you were stabbed by a dagger? Hello? They're really ignoring you, okay? Maybe the biggest thing that happened to you is a mosquito bit you. <laughs> that is the level of suffering that the world is inflicting upon you. Rest of the suffering is all on self-help, isn't it? So why are you suffering like this? Because… I'll ask you a simple question, tell me yes or no. Because I'm also going to bless you according to your question. 
Do you want your intellect to be sharp or blunt? Okay. What department are these guys? <laughs> oh, is it political science? Is it one of the disciplines, sir? Is it one of the disciplines in the… No, then how? <laughs> There's infiltration in your college. <laughs> so, uh, you naturally want your intellect to be sharp. That means intellect is a cutting instrument. It's like a knife. The sharper it is, the better it is, isn't it? So right now, of after millions of years of evolution, we gave you an intellect, we means I'm on the side of nature, okay? <laughs> we gave you a sharp mind. Now you're cutting yourself all over the place and you're complaining about it. <laughs> no, no, when something is sharp given to you, you must learn how to hold it, isn't it? You have to learn how to handle it. If you hold it at the wrong end or if you move irresponsibly, you will cut yourself. Right now, these are all individual expressions of uh, someday I feel like this, someday I feel like this. Human beings essentially are going through a whole lot of suffering. Somebody's in the war zone, somebody is in a famine zone. I will leave those human beings because that's a different scene. But the rest of the people are all suffering. Only one thing, their own intelligence. If you took half their brain away, they would sit peacefully. <laughs> yes or no? No demons, no gods, no voices, peaceful. Yes or no? So we are complaining about the greatest gift that we have. The only reason why compared to all other creatures we are dominating here is because of our cerebral capability, isn't it? Because of the sharpness of our mind, we are able to just about do anything. And this has become the problem. So this has become the problem because we gave you a very complex machine and you not bother to read the user's manual <laughs> and you're trying to handle it blindly. Now all kinds of things will speak. Your own intellect has taken over your life and destroying you, make you suffer for nothing. If I leave you alone in a room, all by yourself, if you are capable of being miserable, this means you are in bad company, isn't it? Hello? <laughs> If I'm with you and you suffered, maybe it's me. But you're sitting alone and suffering, this means you're in bad company, isn't it? You have to fix that one thing, that this one is never bad company. This is the best company you have. For this, there is a simple uh, treatment. The simple treatment is just this, you start seeing this much, whatever happens to me in my life, good things happen, ugly things happen, nonsense happens, great things happens, doesn't matter whatever happens and whatever did not happen in my life, it's all my responsibility. Now, there'll be only one person. If you see, this is my responsibility, there'll be only one person. Otherwise, God will speak here, devil will speak there, Atma will speak from here, Paramatman will speak from somewhere else <laughs> and they'll drive you crazy.